How's it going everyone? John here and welcome to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial video. Today I'm going to be talking about the transform tool. Now the transform tool you can also use in Streamlabs OBS as well as in OBS Studio. Now the way that this works is once you have all your sources and you want to try to manipulate the source, you just highlight the source by clicking on it. Make sure it's not locked. If it has a little lock symbol, just go ahead and click on the lock symbol to unlock it. And what you're going to want to do is right click and go up to transform. So when you right click on the source and you go to transform, you're going to see all these different options. So let's go over each one of these options. So edit transform on the first one here. This allows you to see the position of it. It allows you to see the size as well as being able to rotate it in cropping. Now cropping basically means that if I was to go and take this zero and give it 50, now you can see that it got rid of the top, but now it leaves this gap at the bottom. So if you're wanting to get rid of, say, like black bars on a game that's really old, then you can do the cropping feature. And there's actually a filter where you can actually do the cropping, but you can do that in the transform as well. But um, for this video, we're not going to go over cropping. That's going to be something you guys will learn about later on. But it is a filter you guys can add. Now, if you wanted to rotate, you can definitely do that by rotating things around. Same thing with counterclockwise. And you can also adjust the size too. So you can you guys mess with that. You can mess with the positions. And if you don't like how everything is, you can hit reset and then we'll put everything back to the way it was. So if you right click on it again, we'll go to reset transform. So a good example of reset transform is if I leave it like this and I hit done and I don't like it, I can go here and hit reset transform and then it resets it for you. Another thing also is stretch to screen and fit to screen. They pretty much do the same thing. And essentially when you first bring in your photo or your source or whatever, it might be something like this or a little bit smaller or larger. Essentially what you're gonna do is just do fit to screen or stretch to screen and it does this. So it essentially fills up the canvas with it. So I'm gonna bring this guy out a little bit more. Transform. Now center to screen is gonna center the source directly to the center of the screen as it says. If I bring this guy down here and then I try the others, you're gonna see that the center horizontal is gonna be horizontal, very similar to center to screen, but it's gonna be more on where it was placed. So like if I bring it up here, go to transform, See, now it's up there and it's doing that. So you can kind of snap it to the center, but depending on where it's placed. So if I bring this guy right here and then I go to transform and then I do vertical, now it's going this way. So wherever this guy is lying this way is where it's going to go. Now, you guys can see I'm constantly right clicking inside the box to get the transform. That is another way to do it, too, versus constantly going down here. Now for flip vertical and flip horizontal, it's very similar to when you were inside the edit transform. It's just right here. And then same thing with the rotate. So if I flip it here, or actually maybe it's got a little bit smaller. And then if I do this one, or if I flip this guy this way, and so on and so forth. like. That's pretty much how it works. Now you guys can do this for pictures, you can do it for text, webcam, capture cards, games, you know, pretty much any source that I can think of should be able to be able to use the transform tool. Now, if there is something that doesn't use a transform tool, let me know in the comments. But for the most part, I don't think I've ever ran into anything that I've personally been using for streaming that couldn't use the transform tool. And there's a lot of different types of options here in the properties of the actual sources and everything like that. But I won't be covering those in this video. I just wanted to go over the transform tool. It's a very useful tool and it can really help you guys out with getting things where you want it to be placed. And that's why I wanted to share with it with you guys today. Now I did tell you that there are filters and filters are something that I will be going over in a different video and everything. Uh, just because there's a quite a bit of different filters that can also really help you guys out as streamers. But if this is your first time here and you're enjoying this video, be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to streaming or if you're wanting to learn about streaming, 
I have a whole entire channel full of videos to help you guys out with that. So be sure to go ahead and take a look at the content on the channel. And if you guys want to ever talk to me outside of the YouTube space, I'm also live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday over on Twitch. And I have a Discord and I'm also on Twitter. So feel free to reach out to me there as well. But thank you so much for watching the video. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one or during a live stream. But um, enjoy your uh, enjoy your streams. And hopefully this video helped you out. And I'll catch you guys soon.